Hey guys, what's up? It's Spanky here again from Fail Safe DK. I had a friend of mine ask me about the whole farming experience in Half Hill, and I figured what better way to help somebody out than to help everybody. So I'm making a little video about what you can farm. So far, I've been farming trillium ore, ghost iron ore, some golden lotus, snow lilies, stuff like that from different types of seed. And I'm going to go over some of the dailies you can do to quest to get you started and everything. And then I have these links that you can click on that will take you straight to the quest that you may be having trouble with. And I really hope this helps everybody out. So here we go. If you're not familiar with where Half Hill is, it's south of Vale of Return of Blossoms in Valley of the Four Winds. And where you can see the mouse cursor there, that's where you want to go to. I took a flight path here. It's just easier for me, but from the flight path you can take this route. And you can see all the vendors and stuff over here and to the right of them. You fly over and you see, I think his name is Farmer Yu. He's working away in the field. Now I'm starting with zero reputation with the tillers. And this is starting from scratch. So I pick up my first quest, then you bust up eight rocks. So you just keep following with the quest line. They're all going to be pretty much local, so you just want to go through them and do them all. But the most important, just follow the quest line step by step. And he changes location and goes into his hut and you turn in your quest there when he walks down the steps he's gonna have a conversation with these people here so just let him have his conversation when it's over you can get your next quest now the next quest requires going to the seed vendor uh, you should familiarize yourself with where he is because you're gonna be spending a lot of time buying seeds from him if you keep pursuing farming now here you're just gonna till the soil and plant the seeds now with planting the seeds once you till the soil, make sure you click on the soil again so you can actually plant the seed or it'll give you an invalid target. And if any point that you mess up doing these quest lines, then you can abandon the quest and it'll reset it. Then you can just pick it up and keep going like nothing ever happened. Now on this one he's going to give you a water can. Just take the water can over and water your plants and you're going to turn that quest in. The next quest you pick up is actually harvesting the cabbage that you plant. Now in order to harvest you have to wait till reset. So you wait till the next day, you come back and harvest it, then you can turn the quest in. Then you can continue with the quest line. Here you just go pick up a marsh lily, which is underneath this hut. Then you have to go over to where the vendors are to turn it in. So, so you just get on your mount and head on over. So this next quest, you go over to the seed vendor, buy your skagging seeds, and go over and plant them. I just go ahead and buy four seeds and plant them all. Uh, you can always sell the skaggins when they harvest. You can sell them on auction house. And I just go in and plant for just to get the reputation. And here, this is the location of the bug sprayer. So if you ever plant something that has insects, just take the bug sprayer and spray it. Uh, anything with the white cloud means it's dehydrated. Take the watering can to it. And you can delete these items out of your bag and always come back and pick them up again. So it's not anything that you carry around everywhere. The bag sprayer is where it was um, next to the steps. Straight across from it where the axe is in the log. That's where the watering can is going to sit. So you can always pick this stuff up again. And delete it out of your bag again as many times as you want. And at this point you're going to have dailies pop up. So go ahead and grab your dailies. And check out the next guide that I'll be posting soon on how to do the dailies. And don't forget that every time you harvest, you get 55 points with the reputation with the tillers. Plus, you get valor points from doing the dailies. And obviously, you get reputation with the tillers as you do the dailies. And that's a good way to get revered. Because once you get revered, you can get the seeds that I'm using to grow ghost iron ore, modes of harmony, and stuff like that. And I hope this has helped everybody. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And y'all have a good one. Peace out, y'all.